Okay, hi everyone, this is going to be a very quick video uh, and it's to show you the power that you can get out of your Nikon SB900s, 800s, 700s <clears throat> or just whatever, these little types of flashes um, same with the Canon, whatever um, I use these for pretty much all types of flash photography a lot of people say, Don, why don't you buy studio lights? why don't you get big monoblocks or generators and all that kind of stuff? So, well, these things can pretty much shoot everything yeah, and they're so portable and so easy, you can put them anywhere. And here's an example. This was a fashion show which was done down in Gala Shields in Scotland. And <clears throat> at the location, there, there was a lot of serious continuous lights, as you can see in the background here. Um, and they were very much a tungsten colour. Um, and shooting at, here we can see I'm shooting at 250th of a second f3.3 at 82 millimetres. Um, we managed to get some light on the people. Um, this was at, uh, what time is it at? This was, this was about, at about half seven, so there was still a little bit of light coming in from outside, so it was getting darker. Um, let's look at the ne next shot. Again, there you can see some more shots. Now this, okay, this is how the location looked. I've slowed down the shutter speed, so it's at 180th of a second, and I'm at f2.8, so we're getting about full stop brighter. And again, as you can see over here, one, two, three, four lights there at the back. One, two, three, four. These are big lights, and another four here. And I thought, I wonder how much more powerful, you know, could I just use these stage lights to light up the models for me to take the photos? And I was like, not a chance. I'm going to need to use my flashes. Um, and again, let's just show you here. So there I'm having to go down to a 60th of a second. And at a 60th of a second, you can see that it's fairly well lighting up the the... Uh, walkway, runway as it were, um, but if I'm shooting at 200 millimeters, which I will be later on, shooting at 60th of a second is a no-no. Uh, also, because the models are going to be moving, 60th of a second is still, we're going to get like motion in the photos, so I really need as fast a shutter speed as I can possibly get. And considering I've brought the uh, aperture to as wide as it can be, and I've taken the ISO up to 800, because I'm really trying to get a lot of detail here, I didn't want to put the ISO up really above 800 too much. Um, so I thought, let's stick in some flashes. So what you might be able to see is that I've got a little SB8 or SB900 there. And I also put one over at the other side over here. Um, and to show you the effect that that has, there you go. So that's it still at 60th of a second. And so we've obviously got the lights, the stage lights, and my flashes. Um, but if we just use the, let's go to the maximum shutter speed that I can do with flash, it almost looks like the stage lights are off. There's just so little light coming in whenever I'm doing it at 1 200th of a second, 250th of a second, f3.3. Uh, but you can still see there's a tiny little bit of light coming from them all. And you can see there they are there, and there they are there. But at a 250th of a second, barely, these massive studio lights barely pump out anything. But then, bring in some flashes and look at how much that lights up the whole room. So this was taken a little bit later on in the evening where it was darker outside. But there, from stage lights to two SB900s on either side of the stage. And I'm changing nothing with the settings. ISO is at ISO 800, it's f3.3, but it's 1 250th of a second. And that is what, that is how pow powerful these little flashes are. That was, I think that was them both at full power, just to show how powerful they are. So I think because there's so many models coming towards me and backwards, um, I didn't want this to be on full power because it would take about a second to recycle or, or you know, if I was using it all, I'd use up all the batteries. And because there was about a thousand photos to be taken, I really shouldn't use this on full power. So I think I had this on around about an eighth power, which I set via my camera with another SB800 via commander mode. So it would set off the two flashes and I could judge how much I want to change the aperture or how much I want to change the power on these. Um, and yeah, so that, that is the power that you can get from a couple little SB900s. Um, and from the other side of the room, there, again, so this is what it'd be like from the other side. And as you can see, all the stage lights are on full blast, but they're barely making any light at all. All the light you're seeing here is from two SB900s in the corner. So anyone that says, oh, you can't get enough light with this, in an indoor location, um, 
this versus studio lights, these hump everything, every time. Okay, and here, here's one of the other examples. Uh, the flashes didn't go off here. I didn't give them enough time to recycle this one shot. And the model here is only lit by the studio lights. I've slowed down the shutter speed, so it's one two hundred and no one one hundred twenty fifth of a second. And as you can see, you just can't see them at all. It's just where the lights are hitting them, uh, and it's pretty pretty dark. But then after a second or so, the flashes recycle, and this was it at uh, does it say it was at less than a quarter power, um, and that's fully illuminating the model uh, all the way up and down. So yeah. Uh, all I can say, flashes versus stage lights, these win every time in terms of photography.